Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 67 of What's That Piper series. Today, I have a very interesting small pod to show you, and this is a white habanero. And uh, these are very interesting variety, they don't grow too big. Um, I mean, the ones that I have, they, did, they never really grow that big. But uh, they are very early producer and they produce this really small white pod. Um, they taste just like a habanero and pretty spicy for something this small. So uh, let's go take a look at the plant and then uh, we'll cut this open and have a taste at it. Alright guys, here is my white habanero plant. Um, it's a very cool looking variety. It, it can grow pretty big but uh, if you provide it small space, it can also re remain pretty small. Uh, it's very productive, produce a ton of fruits. Right now, this plant doesn't have any fruits <laughs> because it's, as I mentioned, the heat is just ridiculous. Like right now, it's 98 degrees. Uh, in the past few weeks, it has been up in the hundreds. So uh, most of the the fruits have dropped. But once they establish and uh, the temperature drop, they will produce a ton. But uh, this plant here doesn't have any fruit yet, but let me show you one that does. All right, guys, there it is right here. There is my white hab right there. This is a smaller plant because I grew it in a, uh, a small little cup, and then I recently transferred it into this uh, bed here. So it just remained small, so I guess it's stunted. But it has one little fruit, and the fruit is ready to be picked. So let's pick it. It's like a little jelly bean. Look at that. That's the size of most of the fruit. Pretty cool, small. Um, tasty and pretty spicy for being so little. So let's take it inside and have a try at it. Alright guys, here is a closer look at the white habanero. I got seeds from this a long time ago and I, I don't remember where it came from. So if I find it, I'll, I'll link you guys to where I originally found it. I just don't remember at the top of my head. But um, these are really interesting pods that are super small. Um, they do get bigger in later in the season when the temper is cooler. And uh, they do get whiter as well. But for now, the, this is the only pod that I have on the plant. I have two growing. One was the very miniaturized version, I guess because I grew it in a very small container and they all root bounded and then I moved it into the raised bed and it just stays small. Uh, I should have plucked up all of the, the pods or, or, and the flowers so that they can grow, but it, I just left them. I have another plant that are larger. So anyway, let's cut this open and take a look. Um, this is really, really small. so. There's what it looks like inside. Um, I think there's one seed. Pretty interesting little pot. <laughs> the wall is really thick. Um, the seed is just like right in the middle. They do have more seeds than this and the pods usually get a little larger, but um, I'll show you that later in the season once I, I make the updates as, uh, as they grow more and produce more pods. But for now, <laughs> this is all there is. So uh, let's have a test. All right, guys, here it is. The white habanero, very tiny. Uh, it looks like a little jelly bean. So let's remove the stem and have a taste at it. Uh, this thing's pack a punch, so uh, you have to be careful once you, when you eat this. Wow. Immediately when you chew into it, you get that habanero taste. And then um, now I'm getting a slight bitterness because of the seed. It's, it has a pretty large seed for a pod so small. And then heat. Boy, that thing pack a punch. Like habanero heat. Making me sweat through my head already. Still building. Good flavor, except the seeds. But uh, you have a, 
a little bitterness because of the seeds and then after that it, it's just gone and then the heat comes on it has a slight sweetness but a lot of heat that's one of the reasons why <laughs> I love these little pods for the, the the white habanero the tiny one it packs a huge punch tastes just like a habanero very thick wall it's like um, when you eat uh, anything, a burger, tacos, or whatever, just pop it in your mouth, and man, that would just change everything. The heat is still building. It's like top of my tongue, throat area, all over the throat area. If that pot was bigger, I think I'd probably be in pain right now. Very hot for something that small. Yeah, hopefully, um, once everything is cooling down a little bit, I'll get more pods to show in the update video, and you're gonna see how pretty these things are. They're great to be grown as ornamental plant because they're beautiful, they produce this really cool looking white pods and they're very very productive and uh, as I mentioned I mean just you just need one of those little ones for your meal just slice it in half <laughs> and that would uh, take care of everything uh, if you want some spice uh, I don't recommend drying these up because they're very thick and small um, if you like dry habanero, which the dry habanero is probably one of the best uh, to make as powder, use the larger variety. Those are much better. Great flavor, good sweetness, and I mean the aroma is very, very nice. I think it peaked now. Again, I'm, as I mentioned, I don't remember where I got the seeds from. So I'll go back and do some research, and then uh, if I find it, I'll link you guys. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.